Assalamu alaikum, I'm Islam, and this is Romeli Fortress in Istanbul, Turkey. The Rumeli Fortress longs the Bosphorus Strait at its narrowest part. The building of this colossus in 1452 was among the final preparations of Sultan Muhammad II in conquering Constantinople, now known as Istanbul. As you can see, on the other side of the Bosphorus, there's another fortress, the Anadolian Fortress, built by Muhammad the Conqueror's great-grandfather, Sultan Bayezid I, in 1394. Both of their objectives were to watch over the Bosphorus Strait to intercept any enemy fleet coming from the Black Sea in order to support war efforts in Constantinople. Plus, with the Romeli Fortress on one side and the Anadolian Fortress on the other, no unwanted ship could ever pass before being bombarded with cannonballs. As for the fortress itself, it covers over 30 acres and was built in a period of about 4 months. 4 months? That's insane! I mean, you can't even build a shed in that time. Anyways, there are four main gates, 17 towers, including four high towers, all named in honor of the pashas that were responsible for their construction. What is really cool about this place is that it seems as if it was left the way it was for 500 years. Even nature took root in its walls. What I mean is that there's no exhibition hall or museum, just relics of its use scattered here and there across the fortress. You can even see cannons that date as far back as the 16th century. There are even a few ginormous cannonballs that were intended for the massive Ottoman artillery in the conquest of Constantinople in 1453. Now that's a cannonball. Even though this is a fortress, you still get a few intruders lurking here and there once in a while. With that said, learning about history is awesome, but having the opportunity to walk the same ground as Muslim heroes like Muhammad al fatih and literally seeing how all this was done is a whole other experience. So salam from Rumeldi Fortress in Istanbul, Turkey.